Hi everybody, Scientist Trinity here with another STEAM video. We're here at the Clarington Public Library with an explosive experiment. Yes, you heard me right, explosive. Today we will be showing you how to make a lemon volcano. It will be messy, beautiful, and smell fantastic. Are you guys ready? Let's hand it over to my pal, Scientist Maddie, who will explain our activity a little bit more. Hey there everyone, Maddie here, also at the Curtis Branch of the Clarington Public Library. Are you guys ready to make a lemon volcano? Great. Let's get into the materials you're going to need today. The ingredients you'll need for this experiment are one lemon, a knife, but be very careful with the knife and ask your parent or guardian if you need help to handle it, a cutting board, but today we are just going to be using a plate, some baking soda, a popsicle stick, some dish soap, any brand, some food coloring to make your explosion nice and colorful. You can use any colors you'd like. And some sort of plate to hold your lemon explosion on. Because we do not want any messes um, going on in the house. Once you've got all your ingredients, it's time to get started. While we demonstrate this experiment, pay close attention to what happens when the baking soda is added to the lemon. See if you can come up with a hypothesis as to why the lemon reaction happens. More on that later. Now, back over to Trinity. Have you got all your ingredients ready? Great, let's get going. So your first step will be to roll the lemon. Like this, applying pressure on all sides. The success of the experiment depends on the juiciness of the lemon. So simply roll it on the table and just add some pressure with your hand. Almost like you're giving the lemon a massage. Making sure it's very soft. Once we're done with that, we're going to take our knife and we're going to cut the lemon in half. For this part, make sure you have an adult around to supervise you. And if you're struggling or simply don't know how to cut the lemon, don't be afraid to ask for help. So we're only going to use one half of the lemon for this experiment. All right, so now we're going to take our popsicle stick and we're gently going to poke holes in the flesh of the lemon. And we want to make sure that we're breaking up all the flesh here so that we have a lot of lemon juice to work with. All right, and now once we're done with that, we're going to take our food coloring. And you can choose any color you like or even multiple colors. But today I'm going to be using red and blue. All right, now that it's done, we're just gonna add a dribble of dish soap. All right, and the more you add, the more explosive the experiment will be. And now we're going to add the final ingredient, baking soda. All right, and now we're gonna take our, the same popsicle stick that we just used and we're going to poke the lemon again. You see that? And bam, now we have a lemon volcano. And it's quite a messy volcano as well. And look at the lemons as they fizz and explode with color. Hey, scientist Maddie, mind explaining how this works? Sure thing, Trinity. In this experiment, we are working with acids and bases. An acid is a chemical that is ranked lower than seven on the pH scale, while bases are ranked at a number greater than seven. For example, lemons, like this one, are acidic, and they have a pH of three. But why are lemons acidic? It's because they contain citric acid. 
This is what makes them taste so sour, similarly to oranges and limes, which also contain citric acid. This is where the name citrus fruit came from as well. Baking soda, on the other hand, is a base, as it has a pH of 8.4. When acids and bases mix, they cause a chemical reaction. This is why adding the baking soda to the lemons created our explosion of color. The more we poke the baking soda into the lemon's citric acid, the bigger the reaction we got. If we'd used vinegar, which is also an acid with a pH of 3, we would have seen similar results. Another chemical reaction we saw was with the dish soap and the lemon. Although dish soap is mostly a neutral chemical with a pH of close to 7, it still played a part in creating our reaction. When the acids and bases mix, they also release some CO2 or carbon dioxide gas. The dish soap we dribbled on the lemons in the earlier steps of the experiment captured the released CO2 gas and made it appear as bubbles. That's why the lemon's explosion is so foamy and bubbly. Now before I go, here's one last science fact. Baking powder is also a base and it has the exact same pH as baking soda, 8.4. Try using baking powder in this experiment and compare the reaction your lemon has. Which base creates the largest uh, eruption? Record your findings and compare. Wow, how incredible was that? The way the lemons started fizzing, which made the colors just explode, was so cool. I hope everyone has had an amazing time and was able to successfully make their volcanoes erupt, just like ours. But before I sign off, don't forget to sign in a Beanstack and log your reading minutes to win totally cool prizes and badges. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to see more content from me and Maddie all summer. All right, see you next time. Mm -hmm.